guys, Andre here. Welcome to another video. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're still gonna tour a beautifully designed property, but this time I'm gonna show you a brand spanking new, whimsical Airbnb in the heart of Lakeview. Welcome to 1129 West Wellington. This beautiful Victorian era building features three units, a four bedroom and three bathroom duplex down, and two additional units each with three bedrooms and one bathroom. This property was designed by Wolf Home Design in collaboration with the homeowner, Patrick Collin. To kick off the tour, let's talk about the facade of this beautiful property. So the home is built using this orange brick and limestone detail throughout. And then right in the front over here, you have the original wrought iron fence that ties in nicely with the railings. And guys, this thing was built in 1901 and it looks absolutely magnificent. This property sits on a 38 foot lot and the original city of Chicago lot size is actually 25 wide. So this is significantly larger than your typical lot. And the front door features this beautiful arched line limestone detail and the actual door is done in this really nice warm shade of red and guys notice the two regal sconces on each side create the ultimate grand entrance entering the property the first thing you notice is this really cool wallpaper and it actually has Andy Warhol photo booth print that looks really really cool and over it you have this neon sign where it says hello there that instantly makes you feel like you've just arrived to a really really cool Airbnb so as you walk up the stairs on this really cool carpet runner in these shades of gray and blue you notice this really funky mix of eclectic picture frames and right over here at the door you have this really cool vintage bell and this thing is really, really unique. And now let's check out the unit. Entering the second floor unit, you instantly notice all the texture, all the finishes, and the richness of the entire color palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. You wanna kinda just sit back and take it all in. One of the things I really appreciate that the design team did is they did not bulldoze through this home uh, trying to modernize the space. They actually infused all the historical elements into the design and actually made it work. The floor plan of the unit is a classic Chicago three flat. So as you walk into the home, you walk into your formal dining room. In the further home, you have your living room along with the bedroom and then two bedrooms towards the back and then the kitchen all the way in the back of the building. Why don't we start in the living room? This living room is very chic and very cozy between the finishes and the furniture. And again, all the historical elements of this home, it looks really, really stunning. Let's talk about this focal wall for a second. So this millwork, again, beautifully restored, totally original to the property back from 1901, guys. Can you believe this thing is over 120 years old? It's pretty incredible. And then of course they had to put a TV over it. So, you know, when guests arrive, they can kick back, catch up on some shows. Underneath you have this beautiful beautiful fireplace cover that was done in high gloss. This is probably one of my favorite features of this entire building is how they infuse these beautiful, dark, moody paints into the space. And I actually made it work. So this paint color is actually from Ferro and Ball. Uh, it's called Haig. I'll point out a few other paint colors in the home because they're really, really gorgeous. Huge fan of these oversized sconces on each side of the fireplace. And then you have this convex mirror, actually again, on both sides. In front of the home, three beautiful windows. Again, you can really see how impactful this paint color is and how it really makes the space what it is. Incredible natural light flooding this entire living room through these three windows. And then if you look at the furniture, very chic, very soft, extremely comfortable. I'm a huge fan of, again, just the color of the furniture, purple chairs, and pillows with the skulls here. This home has a really cool rock and roll vibe about it. As we tour it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So the front bedroom, although not the largest room in the house, it's very peaceful and very serene. And all the artwork and all the accessories in this bedroom are suggestive of that, right? So you have this artwork, it says believe in yourself. And then right on this wall, it says inhale, period, exhale, dream big. And there's some vinyl records that are really cool. I don't even know where they, where they found this stuff. Really amazing. So, you know, if you're staying in this home, like this is the room where you can kick back, maybe reflect on your day or on your life, maybe journal. Or if you're a musician or creative, like this is where you come to create. You know, you can practice guitar or an instrument, maybe compose a song or poetry, whatever you're into, like this 
just such a great room for it. And it's also perfect for meditation. Entering the formal dining room, there's so many things to talk about. I don't even know where to start. There's the front of the dining room, there's the, the built-ins, there's this installation here. Two large size windows flooding the entire dining room with natural light. This is a really cool mirror and light installation. It's really one of a kind. I've never seen anything like it. Creativity in this, what we see here is next level. The shape of the mirrors and you have these chains that are very cold, industrial, s and kind of, holding these beautiful pendants. They look like they're custom made. I don't think you could buy something like that. And then right over here, again, this is clearly, you know, welded together with these Edison bulbs that's sitting on this cool, Ottoman kind of with a mirror on top of it and leather straps. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And this is what makes this Airbnb truly one of a kind, right? It's not furnished with a couple cool pieces with some cool wall coverings, like some of the other Airbnbs out there. This is, this is world-class. World-class creativity, innovative design, and a lot, a lot of cool factor. And then right over here is a really cool photo of Marilyn. Very unique, you know, sets the mood for the dining room. This right here are, well, these are the built-ins, the original built-ins, again, from 1901, beautifully restored. You have the original hardware and it's in the most beautiful shape. And I like how it actually works with the painted trim around it. So you have the best of both worlds, right? The modern color and then the original beautifully stained cabinets. And then inside the cabinets, again, there's just so much going on. If you look at it, there's a Monopoly game, lots of knickknacks, suitcases that remind you that you're traveling and this is an Airbnb and you can, you know, stay playful and, and keep it fun, right? It's very light, very whimsical, lots of books. And then right over here, you have this really cool vintage fan, a pink skull. I mean, where else are you gonna see stuff like this? This is really, really amazing. And right over here is this really cool console table with all kinds of fun things on it. You have this neon sign that says lounge. Again, when you walk into the home, you instantly wanna lounge around, right? Chill out. You know you're not home. Home, it really creates a very unique vibe. You've got some bottles, candy machines, really cool mirror, and you have this really cool sign that's attached onto the mirror. It says role model. I mean, it's so random, it's so eclectic. And then over it, you have a skull that's framed, some more cool artwork. This home is hooked up with all the comforts of a modern, luxurious home, including this Nest thermostat. Check out one of the bedrooms. And this is the middle bedroom. Really good sized room. You have this really nice, comfortable bed. And of course, it's got memory foam with coils. And again, the level of details in this room is next level. So for example, this is a handmade throw with these like little sequence pieces. And then you have these pillows here that have these designer pills, right? These are these are pills with designer names. Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, Gucci, Tiffany. I mean, I love it. And then this one is really cool. You have this music motif throughout this entire property. Rolling Stones artwork. There's a really cool prints um, artwork on the wall over the bed. And I really like how it's off center. Custom bookshelf with again, the coolest litter Furniture, clocks, accessories. And then look at this thing. This is one of the most unique light fixtures I've ever seen. It's like a big piece of marble with this really magical looking uh, light bulb. And this is a nice piece of furniture where you can store your clothes, just like back at home. Besides the walk-in closet, this is very handy. And again, more knickknacks, really great books. And I love the mirror over it. There's the sense of kind of motivation and inspiration in every part of this home, right? It says, want it, plan it, do it. And then there's this mouse. And this has gotta be one of the coolest light fixtures I've seen. You expect the bulb to be where in, in the socket, but actually the mouse is holding it. It looks really cute and it's really fun. Towards the back of the home, we have a bathroom and across from it, we have these really beautiful original built-ins. And this is basically your mini bar. This is where you have your martini glasses, rocks glasses, all the booze. Very, very nice feature. And you know, if you're staying here, it's actually better than a hotel, right? Every hotel has a mini bar, and this is your mini bar in this Airbnb. Entering the bathroom, you notice this bleeding tile inlaid. 
The mosaic tile blends seamlessly with the floor and you really can appreciate the workmanship of it. It's pretty flawless. Beautiful color palette in this bathroom. Everything is so crisp and of course, everything is completely customized, right? Uh, you have this custom vanity that's attached to the glass, very unique, and it's got a waterfall edge, really nice navy sink, and then you have the uh, brass plumbing fixtures off the wall. And notice that this entire part of the bathroom is mirrored, and so it's attached directly onto the mirror, and it blends in beautifully with the tile. Again, creativity is pretty awesome here. And in case you're wondering where the shower dial is, it's actually on the opposite end of the shower. It's right over here, and it's done in this beautiful brass finish. And this is where these things should be located, right? You walk in the shower, you turn it on, and then you enter the shower, rather than entering the shower, turning it on, and getting splashed with ice cold water. Although that's, I like that. And I love this custom ladder that's actually used as your towel holder. It adds a lot of authenticity and a lot of character to this already cool bathroom. And then this right here is actually a linen closet that's technically in your shower. Look at this. It's pretty amazing. Big fan of the artwork on the walls on each side of the bathroom. So here there's this giant hotel sign that's kind of distressed. It looks really, really cool. Reminds you of a boutique hotel, which is what this is. And then here's this really cool artwork of an airplane. All right, and now let me show you the bedroom in the back of the property. Guys, this one has the ultimate rock star vibe, right? So you have this entire half of the wall, actually it wraps around, um, is done using this really unique wall covering. And these are cassettes. I don't know where they found those, but these are cassettes of famous bands. You have Neil Diamond, Elvis Presley, The Pretenders is right over there. I don't even know where they get these cassettes. The last time I held a cassette in my hand was 1997 when I was learning English when I moved to the country. And so, yeah. Yeah, this is this stuff is this vin these vintage cassettes are very hard to come across and let me show you the wall covering and then here's some vinyl records that are inserted into this really cool stainless steel kind of this pocket that's attached to the wall and look at this wall covering it's very cool it's very vibrant it almost energizes you right because it has names of some of the coolest cities of the world very very awesome and as if the wall covering was not already cool enough or interesting or unique enough they ended up adding stickers on top of it, right? With more cities around the world. That is very, very cool. And here's a queen size bed with some more funky bedding and pillows. And the bed frame is actually done in this navy wool finish that looks really cool. And you know what? I keep saying that they're really, really comfortable. I'm actually gonna test it out. Yeah, very, very comfortable. I'm a big fan of this lamp that's attached to the window casing and it functions basically as your sconce. And this is a really, really cool feature. It's actually a miniature suitcase that's used as a nightstand. I'm not even sure how that's attached, but it's, it's in there and it's, yeah. Yeah, this thing is not going anywhere. And then here on the left, you have this cool custom shelf that's packed with all kinds of cool accessories. And I think this is where you have accessories that are suggestive of, again, traveling. You've got a globe, you've got a globe, really cool books, really funky bookends. And guys, these are all custom made. Like this is, you can't buy this stuff. This is, this has been designed, painted, and beautifully installed. And there's even a basketball here that's in shape of the world. And here's the kitchen with a really cool modern farmhouse vibe. In these classic Chicago units, the kitchen is always towards the back and it's always configured in the most awkward way. And so here they completely redesigned it, right? Usually you have kind of cabinets against the wall. It's very, it's not very functional, right? And here you have basically like an island or I'm sorry, a peninsula that's right in the middle of it. And if you're wondering where the bar stools are, well, they're actually attached to the island and they swivel. They come right out and you can sit on them. And it's actually really great because it maximizes space. And it's got a nice overhang here and we'll talk about about this side of the kitchen in just a second. Let's talk about the cabinets. High gloss in the same cool color as the trim in the home. It's actually a different shade, but it's the same family of colors. They actually squeezed in your washer and dryer. Again, comforts of a modern home. You have this giant window here, really nice refrigerator, and then this backsplash is perfect. Again, it's very rich, it adds a lot of character, and this home has everything, right? It's got the appliances, the microwave, the mugs, the coffee. It even has a fig spread and 
stone ground express mustard. And over the peninsula, you have these two really cool uh, pendant lights. And once the can lights are off, these actually set the mood because of the designer look of it and because of the basket weave construction of it. And right over here is this really cool navy tile. I like the texture of it and I really like the way it's installed. It's kind of inconsistent. And you have these two shelving units. Again, very asymmetrical, very creative. Giant window, and it's actually a south facing window, lets in lots of natural light, farmhouse sink, and then right over here is your textured ship lab detail on this entire wall that looks gorgeous. And this kitchen is equipped with everything you could possibly need. Stainless steel appliances, there's a dishwasher, there's a range, anything you could possibly need to prepare a good meal. And that wraps up the tour of unit two. I'm gonna head upstairs and show you the top level unit. And on the way upstairs, we see even more whimsical design details. Welcome to top floor unit, unit three. And the floor plan in this home is identical to the unit that we just showed you. And actually the vibe of this home is also slightly different. It's a little more sophisticated, but it's very, very unique in its own way. Let me show you a couple of my favorite features. Here's an oversized console table, lots of very unique accessories. You have that continuation of these playful elements. You have two jars with these gumballs that look really funky and add a pop of color. Dining room, very similar vibe. You have the mirror installation right there and you have these really gorgeous pendants right over your round dinner table. And guys, these are actually in gold chains. And here's the living room. So many rich elements, so many amazing pieces of furniture. Like everything that's in this room is truly one of a kind. So here you have this nice tufted Chesterfield sofa and I love the artwork over it. Again, off center, kind of a car theme going on here. Coffee shop, uh, acrylic print that looks really, really beautiful. And then look at this coffee table. It is so unique, beautifully crafted. It has these really nice books um, on top of it. Right over here is a nice armchair where you can just kick back, read a book, enjoy yourself. And then look at this ottoman. I don't even know where this is from. And here's the focal wall. So impeccable, so pristine, so beautifully restored. Seriously, I can't believe this thing is over 120 years old. It's gorgeous. And then over it, you have these really cool accessories, great artwork. And again, everything in the home prompts some sort of an emotion, excitement, curiosity, inspiration, motivation. And this is the front bedroom that's being used as your library and your study. Beautifully designed, car theme. And then these shelves look really rich and really beautiful. And they actually have two sconces attached inside the shelf. And this vibrant leather chair makes a really bold statement. And this is the middle bedroom. Again, identical to the size that we saw downstairs, slightly different vibe, right? A little more sophisticated. You have the custom shelf on the left, really cool artwork. You have this wool bed uh, frame that's done finished in this gray wool. And finally, you have this really cool and kind of intimidating side lamp that's done in this spike gold base. Identical size bathroom and really the finishes too, except for the tile on the floor. And then this one features a slightly different mosaic pattern that's very unique and cool in its own way. And the third bedroom in this home is actually used as a walk-in closet. And guys, you have not seen a walk-in closet like this. Let me show you. Now this is one awesome walk-in closet. And guys, I should mention that the owner of the property actually lives in a top floor unit. And he's one of the most organized people I've ever met. I mean, just look at the closet. Everything is impeccable, so well organized. You have these shelves for your kicks, blazers, shirts, jackets, shoes. And then this is pretty cool too, because this actually is where you can keep your accessories. And of course it has a beautiful round mirror over this piece of furniture. And this kitchen is identical to the unit downstairs. It has everything you could possibly need to to have a comfortable stay and entertain in style. And both units are equipped with an oversized outdoor patio. So when you're ready to take the party outside, it's right here for you. Right now, live music clubs in Chicago are finally starting to open up. And this whimsical Airbnb is just steps away from the city's best music venues. If you're considering visiting Chicago and want to experience a real Chicago apartment, you gotta check out the spot. And that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Let me know what was your favorite design detail. Leave me a comment. And if you're curious if this bad boy is available for sale, it sure is. Reach out to me with the inquiries. And with that, I will catch you on the next video.